welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we are going to be doing an awesome breakfast recipe. We are going to be making some Keto breakfast hot pockets. So let's get straight to the video. So for our ingredients today, these are the ingredients I'm going to be using for inside the breakfast hot pocket. Today I'm going to be using some mild shredded cheddar cheese. You could use any kind of cheese that you prefer. And I'm going to be using some sausage patties and some bacon. Get creative. You could use any breakfast meat that you want in these Hot Pockets. You're going to want a little bit of butter for your eggs. In total, we're going to be using four eggs. One of them is going to be for our fathead dough, which is going to be in placement of our bread wrap. So for our fathead dough, you've seen me make this a couple times on my channel. You're going to want one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, a little bit of cream cheese, almond flour, and for some seasoning, we're just going to be using some salt and pepper. Okay, so first we're just going to scramble our eggs in a bowl so we can get them cooking. And you do want to season it with some salt and pepper to give it flavor. And just whisk them up. And next we're going to move on to our stove. So we're going to get our meat cooking that we're going to put inside the hot pocket. So whatever meat you're using, go ahead and drop down and get it cooking. You want to make sure you get your bacon nice and crispy. Once your bacon is done cooking, you're going to set it on a plate to the side. I do have a paper towel down so it could drain. And next, I'm going to start cooking my sausage. And once they're done, I'm also going to set them aside. Don't you just love that you can eat bacon on keto? You can eat any kind of meat on keto. I love to have bacon and sausage for breakfast in the mornings. It is my ultimate favorite. So next, we're going to scramble up some eggs. And I do know a lot of people know how to just cook bacon and sausage and scramble some eggs. But I do take these extra steps for people that are really new to cooking and that want to try out keto. I like to show them step by step so it makes it easier for them. But let's get straight back into the video. Now for our scrambled eggs, we're going to drop in some butter so they don't stick. Melt that down. Once it's melted down, just give your eggs a little whisk again. And we're going to drop in our eggs and we're just going to scramble them. Just give them a good minute to sit here and start cooking. Just make sure you stir your eggs so they do not burn and then just let them sit and stir again. Okay, once you're done, your eggs are done cooking and they're nice and scrambled, we're going to put this aside and we're going to start making our fathead dough. So next for our fathead dough, you want to take one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese in a microwave safe bowl, add in two tablespoons of cream cheese, and we're going to melt this down. And of course, my dog is always right here by my side waiting for something to drop. We're going to pop this in the microwave for one minute.
Okay, once it's, done, once it's done, we're gonna give it a good mix. Now, if your cheese isn't fully melted yet, you could put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Just be careful not to burn your cheese. But I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get our next ingredients. Okay, now to your melted cheese, we're going to add 3 4 cup of almond flour, one large egg, and for some flavor, just some salt and some pepper, or you could add any seasonings that you prefer. And then just give it a good mix, and you want to make sure everything is well combined, and you're going to form a dough ball. Okay, once all your egg and almond flour is well incorporated like this, we're going to set this aside and get out some parchment paper. Okay, so next you want to get two pieces of parchment paper. You're going to want one from the bottom and one for the top. So take one for the bottom right now. We're going to put our fat head dough that we just made. Try to form like a little ball. And it is going to be sticky. You could wet your hands if you'd like. And we actually are going to cut these in sections because we're going to making a couple of Hot Pockets. So I'm just going to cut mine into fours. Just like that. Put the rest to the side. Now take one of your fat head dough balls. Form a ball. Put it right in the middle. Now get the other piece of parchment paper, put it right on top. And you're going to get something to roll with and you're going to try to roll it even. Now don't roll too thin because you don't want it to tear. If you have a little bit of tearing, just try to push it back together. Carefully take the parchment paper off and you should have something like this. Now we're going to stuff it in the middle. So first we're going to lay down our meat. I'm going to do sausage. And I did just cut them in half so it's easier to lay down. And then on top of this we're going to add a little bit of egg. You don't want to overstuff them. And then, of course, we have to add some shredded cheese. Then carefully, you're going to fold each end in with your parchment paper. Stick it down. Try to carefully peel it back. Take the other end, lay it right on top. Now take the ends of the Hot Pocket and you're going to fold them in so nothing comes out. Now once you transfer it to your baking sheet, I'm just going to lightly brush an egg wash on top to get it nice and golden brown. And now we're going to start baking. You're going to want to have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. You're just going to pop them in and you're going to bake them until the outside is nice and golden brown. So my breakfast Hot Pockets have been baking for 20 minutes and they are nice and golden brown. You just want to take them out and let them cool down and they are ready. Now for people that don't have time to make these in the morning, these are great for meal prepping. You just bake them, wrap them in some parchment paper, freeze them, and then in the morning you can just warm them up like a regular Hot Pocket and you have a great to-go breakfast. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Question of the day, what are you going to put in your breakfast Hot Pockets? Comment down below.
All right, guys, so that concludes today's video of our Keto Breakfast Hot Pockets. I hope y'all enjoy this awesome recipe. And if you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in my next video.